practice problem, we can really pick any molecule you could possibly think of. So let's just let me just come up with one. How about copper sulfate? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a good one. I want to find the percent mass of oxygen. Okay. Okay. So how do I do that? If I'm not given the masses of copper, sulfur, or oxygen, or all three of those, then it's not going to work. Uh, to, I, I can't do anything. So if I'm not given any of those, I'm going to use the molar masses or atomic masses given the periodic table to solve the question. So let's just write those down. Copper is 63.55. Sulfur is 32.07, and oxygen is 16, okay? Yeah. So the percent mass of oxygen is going to be the uh, mass of oxygen, which is 16, but notice there's four of them in the molecule, so I have to account for all four times four, divided by the total mass, which is going to be 63.55, plus, there's one sulfur, 32.07, and then there's four oxygens, four times 16. If I add all that up and multiply by 100, I'm going to get the molar mass. So let's see, if I do the denominator, 63.55, uh, plus 32.07, plus, 4 times 16, that will be 64. The total on the bottom is uh, basically 159.6. And so I'll take that and then I'll go uh, 64 divided by that number and times 100. I'm going to get 40 point, uh, really, 10. I'll do four sig figs since everything I wrote down was pretty much four sig figs. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. mm -hmm.